So, we have come to the stage of the evening uh, for the, where we have our guest artist and this week uh, we're very pleased to have Matt Quinn who is from Sussex. I don't know whether Matt's in Sussex now but I know that's where he's from originally. So Matt has copious things under his belt. He's uh, as well as his own solo work. Uh, he's also part of the Dovetail Trio. Um, you may have seen part of that with uh, Rosie Hood and Jamie Roberts. I've also danced to Matt as the discussion topic, which is blinking hard work trying to read up on whether when you try and Google that on the internet, I can tell you. But actually, the, the place where I know Matt from is that he's also the occasional co-host of present company excluded, the best session in the country as far as I'm concerned, which is the volunteer in Sidmouth. Uh, he's also done stuff with his father, um, Dan, and as you'll appreciate, it's too good an opportunity to miss, they put themselves out as the Mighty Quins, which all says there's plenty of material he's got, so I'll shut up and hand you over to Matt Quinn. Hello. Hello, everyone. We call ourselves the Mighty Quins to stop people coming up to us and saying, you should call yourselves the Mighty Quins. Anyway, uh, it's very lovely to be here in my own home, <laughs> and uh, th thank you for inviting me into your homes. Um, yes, th and thank you for uh, clarifying that there were musical things under my belt as opposed to anything else. That's very kind of you to continue that sentence. Um, right, yes, I'm from Sussex, but I'm not, not in Sussex at the moment. I, I live just outside Sheffield these days, and have lived up this way for coming up for five years which is a scary thing for me but never mind um so now I'm, I'm gonna mostly do some sussex material sussex traditional stuff there might be a couple of uh, not trad stuff but mostly trad so start with this this is a a song uh it's a version of butter and cheese and all from uh the a sussex singer called leslie johnson and i've written a set list and i have not written key signatures on the set list i'm gonna guess I think this one's in C. That sounds about right. Mm -hmm. What a pity it is to tease me and try me for to sing when it does not lay in my power to do any such thing. But since you have teased me so I'll try what I can do And when we get to the chorus then you must ball out too Then you must ball out too It's of a cook I fell in love and the truth I don't deny For why a cook should have her choice I'll tell you the reason why because she has plenty of mince pies, plum puddings, and roast beef. And when my belly was empty, she gave to me a relief. She gave to me a relief. She sent me an invitation, some supper for to take. I kindly did accept it, all for my belly's sake. And after supper was over, of the cupboard I got the keys. One pocket I crammed with butter, the other I stuffed with cheese. The other I stuffed with cheese. I had not been long sitting there, about half an hour or more. The master smelling of my cheese came tapping at the door. And I, not knowing where to go, up the chimney I did hide. And there I sat quite at my ease, like a sweep exalted high, like a sweep exalted high. I had not been long sitting there, a sitting at my ease. The fire began to melt my butter, likewise to toast my cheese. And every drop that fell in the fire, it caused the fire to flare. And the master looked up the chimney, and swore that Satan was there. And swore that Satan was there. Then up to the chimney pot 
top he got, and down some water poured, and I came tumbling after my butter and cheese and all. Now I'm safe down from the chimney now with a smut and a greasy face. And out at the door I nimbly ran, and down the street I was chased, and down the street I was chased. The dogs did bark, the children screamed, up flew the windows all, and every soul cried out, well done, as loud as they could bawl. So to make an end to my ditty boys, I hope I ain't kept you long. We'll wish success to the chorus, and sing another good song. And sing another good song. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, right. Thank you. Uh, I'll do another something else from Sussex with the concert scene. This is a song called uh, Her Serving Man. It's a version of uh, Locks and Bolts. Uh, from the singing of a woman who was collected singing this in the town where I grew up. I was, I, uh, uh, I was born in Shoreham in Sussex, but I, I spent uh, the vast majority of my youth, uh, childhood and youth, uh, living in Port Slade, which is an area of Brighton and Hove. And um, uh, there's a new, or new was new about four or five years ago, uh, a, a database online called the Sussex Traditions. And uh, they're basically the Vaughan Williams Memorial Library of Sussex now. And they just put everything they found that was collected in Sussex on this new database. And I was one of the people tasked with, uh, I was one of the volunteers, I was volunteered to uh, do some transcribing of some of the words and music. And so if you go on there and uh, see some, uh, yeah, dots and words written out of some of the songs, that's probably my handiwork. And I took the opportunity to use the database and search the location for Port Slade. And about six entries, six entries came in, all from the same woman, a woman called Ethel Powell. So I thought, right, I've got to learn some of these. So I did. And this is one. Uh, there's only, and that was in about the early 1960s. Um, after that, she moved to Canada and stayed there for the rest of her life, I believe. So uh, this is her serving man. It's, um, I was going to say something else about it. Martin Carthy sings another version of this collected in Sussex uh, called Her Serving Man. And that's from a woman called Gladys Stone, who was the sister of Leslie Johnson. I got butter and cheese and all from. So there you go. That's, uh, isn't that interesting? Oh, I think so. And they learned their songs from their father, John Johnson. And there's a facsimile of his songbook in the Vaughan Williams Library on the computer. I went there, had a look at it, it is absolutely illegible. I'm not going to learn any more songs from that family, because I can't read them. Anyway, this is uh, Ethel Powell's Her Serving Man. Um, the origin of this song uh, is betrayed, uh, nationality of the song is betrayed by the tune, which you will recognise from a different song. Saw the damsel both fair and handsome, these lines are true, as I am told. On the banks of Shannon, in a lofty mansion, her parents gained great stores of gold. Her hair was black as the raven's feather, her form and features describe who can. But stillness fully belongs to nature, she fell in love with her serving man. As Mary Ann and her lover were walking, her father heard and near them drew. As these two lovers were fondly talking, home in anger her father flew. To build a dungeon was his 
his intention to part these lovers, he laid a plan. He swore an oath that too vile to mention, he part his fair one from her serving man. He built a dungeon of bricks and mortar, a flight of stairs leading underground. The food he gave her was bread and water, with only a chair for her was found. Three times a day he did cruelly beat her, till to her father she crying began. If I've transgressed my own dear father, I'll lay and die for my serving man. Young Edwin found her habitation, it was well secured by an iron door. He vowed in spite of all the nation, he'd gain her freedom or rest no more. Then at his leisure he toiled with pleasure to gain releasement for Marianne. He f oh dear, he f he found his he opened the door and saved her anyway. Da -na -na, da -na. He she cried, my faithful young serving man. Her father found his daughter vanished and like a lion began to roar, crying from all Ireland, you shall be banished, or with my broad sword I'll spill your gore. Agreed, said Edwin, so hurt your leisure, since her I freed, now do all you can. Forgive your daughter, I'll die with pleasure, the one in fault is your serving man. Her father found him so tender-hearted, that down he fell on the dungeon floor, saying this young couple shall ne'er be parted, since love can enter an iron joins to be parted never to roll in riches this young couple can this fair young maiden who rules in pleasure is blessed forever with her serving man thank you very much Right, something uh, not Sussexy and not Tram now. Um, yes, I I don't any more play uh, in the duo The Mighty Quint of My Dad. We kind of put that to bed a few years back. But uh, that was good fun. And uh, this is a song that we used to do as The Mighty Quint, although my dad used to sing it. So uh, I thought I'd revive it. Um, it's, uh, well, he... Uh, a long time ago, well no, still is, in a Cayley band called Flowers and Frolics that were all the rage in the 70s. And uh, they still get together for, well they did before this uh, Covid times, they got together about once a year for a gig, every so often. But uh, And they, uh, they, before they were a Cayley band, they were essentially the musicians and, dance and some of the dancers of the Angel Morris Men in London. That's the wrong capital there we go. And they, uh, and whilst doing the, the Morris team, because they were based in Islington, so Angel Morris, the Angel was the pub uh, they used to go to. There was a folk club, I think, at the Angel Islington, and also at the Empress of Russia, which was the one of the big uh, folk clubs in London at the time. And that was run by a guy called Bob Davenport, who was an absolutely stellar human being. And, um, He's still alive now, he's in his late 80s, I think, but he's uh, still going or li living in London. And he used to run that folk club and 
Flowers and Frolics were the resident band at that folk club for many years. Anyway, Bob Davenport wrote this song called The Jealous Sailor, with the melody is from a traditional song, The Gallant Frigate Amphitrite. But it's uh, new words written by Bob called The Jealous Sailor. It's his view of la vie, as my dad used to say. So, see, see what you make of this. <laughs> Taken with was your old pal Jackie Bly Bly. Was your old pal Jackie Bly? Now Bill he had but one bad fault, and that was jealousy. And the news was eating out his mind. That was plain to see. I suppose I shouldn't have told you, Bill, but it doesn't seem right to me. That a woman should take with a fancy man When her husband is off to sea, sea When her husband is off to sea yourself as a fancy man but you'll never do it anymore more but you'll never do it anymore now they have taken bill away and they've locked him up in jail the stabbing was a hanging job of that there was no fail bill never saw his wife again though he lay in the Cell, for she was happy at home with a fancy man Bill's old pal Tommy Bell Bell Bill's old pal Tommy Bell yeah. There you go, a bit of a soap opera deceit there for you uh, Right Okay, we're going to move on to my favourite uh, traditional singer from Sussex, and uh, appears to be no one else's favourite, is a guy called Gordon Hall. And uh, he was just a magnificent singer, very Marmite singer. You either 
really loved him and his way of seeing it, or you absolutely hated it. He just very slow, no, some would say long-winded, I would say deliberate, paced uh, singing. And he had a penchant for really, really long versions of ballads. He learnt most of the songs from his family, from his mum, I think. And there's an album out there of recordings of him and his mum, uh, Mabs. And uh, I just love his singing. I love his long ballads. He, he did a lot of... Uh, he fastidiously did lots of research and tried to cram as many details into these long ballads as possible. B because why not? And, uh, and I've taken it upon myself to learn all of his epic long ballads. And I tend to only do one per evening, so I'm going to do the, my one now. And so this is his version of Lord Bateman. So it's already a long song, <laughs> and it's now going to be even longer. Are you sitting comfortably? Um, so things to say about Lord Bateman in general. Uh, yeah, Gordon Hall's... Uh, I don't sing as slow as Gordon Hall, so where this would have taken 22 minutes had Gordon Hall sung it, it's significantly shorter <laughs> if I do it. Um, things to say about Lord Bateman, uh, one of the most common theories about the, uh, the origin of the, the story of Lord Bateman, I suppose, is that it is in fact the story of Thomas Beckett's parents, uh, Gilbert Beckett from Normandy and, uh, Matilda, uh, from, uh, Turkey, although Matilda, a bit odd, but I think Matilda's right, and, um, although in most Gordon, of most Bateman songs, it's uh, Sophia or Sophia. And um, so there's that to take into consideration. Uh, and then uh, what you'll find, I suppose, with a lot of songs, particularly Irish folk songs, there's sometimes they mi deliberately mispronounce the name of a country in order to make it rhyme with the previous uh, couplet. Gordon Hall decided to do that in this song. I keep all of Gordon Hall's idiosyncrasies apart from the singing style. Because I think the the interesting ways of uh, uh, the interesting lines of in, in the song are really fascinating, and I, I want to preserve that his way of doing it. So uh, there's that in this one as well, and there was something else I was going to say. It's quite funny as well in places. It makes me laugh anyway. Um, I'm sure there was something else. Anyway, this is uh, Gordon Hall's, and so Thomas Beckett. So Gordon Hall called this Lord Beckett instead of Lord Bateman because he was very much trying to make this song as true to what the original story as it could be of what he believed to be the original story. I do realise the irony in prefacing my longest song by doing the longest introduction as well. But uh, I'll get going and we'll get through this and we'll see how, how much time we've got left after this one. So this is uh, Gordon Hall's Lord Beckett and to make it even longer the last line of every verse repeats. And it's in G sharp. If I can find a G sharp on the constant. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Lord Beckett was a noble lord, a noble lord of high degree. Shipped himself all aboard a vessel, some foreign countries he would go see. Some foreign countries he would go see. He sailed east and he sailed west. Until he came to fame Turkey, where he was took and put to prison, until his life was a misery, until his life was a misery. Now in that prison there grew a tree, oh there it grew both stout and strong, where he was chained all by the shoulder, until his life it was almost gone, until his life it was almost gone. The old Turk had one only daughter, the fairest man's two eyes did see. She's took the keys of her father's prison, and swore Lord Beckett she would let go free. And swore Lord Beckett she would let go free. 
She's took him down to her father's cellar. There gave him bread and a Spanish wine. And every health she drank unto him. Was I wish, Lord Beckett, as you were mine. Was I wish, Lord Beckett, as you were mine. Do you have houses? Do you have land? Or do you serve for meat and fee? What would you give to a fair Turkish lady if out of prison would let you go free? If out of prison would let you go free? Oh, I've got houses and I've got land. Three parts of Northumberland belong to me. I'd give it all to a fair Turkish lady. If out of prison would let you go, let me go free. If out of prison would let me go free. Then in seven long years I will make a vow. In seven long I and keep it strong. If you will wed with no other woman, then I will wed with no other man. Then I will wed with no other man. She's taken him down to her father's harbour. They gave him a fine ship of fame. Saying farewell, farewell to thee, Lord Beckett. I fear I shall never see you again. I fear I shall never see you again. Then in seven long years I will plight thee my troth. In seven long I and keep it strong that I will wed with no other woman if you will wed with no other man if you will wed with no other man now seven long years have gone and passed, and fourteen days were known to me. She's packed up all of her coarse-like clothing, and swore Lord Beckett she would go see. And swore Lord Beckett she would go see. Now she sailed up, and she sailed down, until she came to Christen D. The maid inquired of noble Beckett, saying he has plighted a troth with me. Saying he has plighted a troth with me. And when she's come to Lord Beckett's castle, how bravely there she did turn the pin. Oh dear. <laughs> who's there, who's there, cried the proud young porter, as do see Claire to her entrance in, as do see Claire to her entrance in. Now is this here Lord Beckett's castle, and is that noble prince within? Oh yes, oh yes, cried the proud young porter, he's just now taken his new bride in. He's just now taken his new bride in. <clears throat> Pray bid him send me a piece of bread and a bottle of his best Spanish wine to remind him of the fair Turkish lady that did release him when close confined. That did release him when close confined. <clears throat> I'm going to take a halfway point, a swig of water, a slight pour. <coughs> We're about halfway now, don't worry. Then away and away went the proud young porter. Away and away and away went he. Until he's come to Lord Beckett's chamber. And there he fell down on bended knee. And there he fell down on bended knee. 
What news, what news, my proud young porter? What news, what news, come and tell to me? Oh, there is come a fair Turkish lady, the fairest man's two eyes did see. The fairest man's two eyes did see. Tis seven long years I've been at your gate, a seven long iron keep it strong. That's the wrong line. Tis seven long years I've been at your gate, a serving thee and thy kith and kin. Yet ne'er did I see such a fair young lady, as do seek let or entrance in. As do seek let or entrance in. Now she's got rings on every finger, and on one finger she do wear three, with as much gay gold hung about her brow, as would buy the half of Northumberlee, as would buy the half of Northumberlee. That always makes me laugh. She's bid you send her a piece of bread and a bottle of your best Spanish wine to remind you of the fair Turkish lady that did release you when close confined that did release you when close confined Lord Beckett then in a passion flew, and broke his sword into splinters three, saying, I'll give half of my father's land, if so be as Sophia has crossed the sea, if so be as Sophia has crossed the sea. Then up and spake the young bride's mother, who never was heard for to speak so free. Oh, what becomes of my fair young daughter, who just yestereen was wed with thee? Who just yestereen was wed with thee? Is it the custom of your house? Is it the way of your kith and kin to wed a fair maid all on a bright morning and send her home again at e'en and send her home again at e'en? Tis true I've made a bride of your daughter, but she's no better nor the worse for me. She's kind to me with a horse and saddle, she may go home with a coach and three. She may go home with a coach and three. Rich coarse lie garments too she shall wear, fine cloth of gold for a bride shawl, with as much gay gold hung about her middle, as would answer of our country's call, as would answer of our country's call. Lord Beckett then rushed down the stairs, of fifteen steps he's made but three. He's taken his young love all in his arms, and there he kissed her most tenderly. And there he kissed her most tenderly. Is it the custom of your house? Or have you quite forsaken me? Have you forgotten the fair Turkish lady that did give you life and liberty? That did give you life and liberty? He's taken her down to St. Paul's church stone and there he kissed her both cheek and chin, changed her name to fair Matilda, no more to be called Sophia again, no more to be called Sophia again.
Lord Beckett prepared another marriage with both their hearts so full of glee, saying I'll go no more to foreign countries now that Matilda has crossed the sea. Now that Matilda has crossed the sea. Now eighteen months have gone and passed, and three short days were known to me. Matilda was delivered of, a lusty babe named Thomas was he. A lusty babe named Thomas was he. Young men and maidens, hark this tale, pray yes, show your love some constancy. For perfect love comes from above, as is shown by Gilbert and fair Matilde. As is shown by Gilbert and fair Matilde. Ow! Oh, wait. Terry would applaud me. That's the, that's the strangest applause. It's a silent applause. I hope you're all applauding. <laughs> yeah. Thank We've you. Got, got, um, got one more well, now. One more? Is one that... more, please, Matt, until later. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, Thanks. Hang on, hang on, hang on. One second. That song was so long, my speakers turned off. That's why I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I couldn't Nothing coming out of the speakers for so long. They went on standby. <laughs> Well, there we go. Sorry, what was that? Was that one more, Dave? Oh, well, one more at the moment. Yes, thanks, Matt. Yeah. Right, I haven't put one on the set list. I'll have to think of something uh, straight away. I'll do something with the banjo. That's all turning all along. No, wait, come back. Um, time to do some plugs as well. <clears throat> There's a PayPal tip jar going around. I've just seen the uh, tip jar in the chat there. Uh, if you'd be so kind, uh, you don't have to, obviously, but, uh, you know, if... <laughs> Pay me and I won't sing another Gordon Hall ballad, put it that way. Uh, the Pepper Chip Tries there. And today is that most joyous of days, Bandcamp Friday. Which is a wonderful day. Um, because if you buy uh, one of my CDs or releases on Bandcamp today, the first Friday of the month, then all the money goes to me. Bandcamp don't take their commission I mean, PayPal still take the commission afterwards, but the but Bandcamp uh, waive their fees for Bandcamp Friday. So if you buy something in mind today, more money goes to me, which is what we all want, I think. That's what I want, certainly. So on Bandcamp, you'll find uh, my two solo albums. That's uh, mattquinn.bandcamp.com. You'll find my two solo albums of trad folk stuff, um, uh, which is like the sort of have I just done. And you'll find... A digital only EP I made last uh, year in lockdown part the first called Isolation Quinn which is unlike anything I've made before it's all made in this room standing in front of the very desk I'm standing in front of now all uh, multi-tracked banjo uh, one row one row melodians and um, lots of silly backing vocals and contemporary songs no trad stuff on that it's just a six jolly songs with lots of Cajun-y one row melodian and stuff on it and that's uh, that's the new release called Isolation Quinn and that's there and if you um, I'm going to do the, the single from the EP for you now which is uh, a song written by a, it's written by a, a, a trad folky a guy called Jim Eldon but it's uh, written by him so it's not trad and there's a it's the single from the EP and if you go on YouTube and search for Matt Quinn Toilet Roll you will find the music video, which I filmed in my back garden because I couldn't go anywhere else. Uh, I recorded that on the hottest day last year, one of those days in June or July, I think it was. Hottest day of the year, and there's me running, filming a bit, and then running inside and changing into a different suit or a different shirt and going back out into the hottest day of the year. Anyway, Toilet Roll is the name of the song Jim Oldham wrote. I'm going to do it now. And that's me for my first bit, and I'll be back just before the end to do two more I think. I'm seeing the MC is nodding so I'm going to take that as a yes. There we go. So this is uh, Jim Eldon's song Toilet Roll. Thank you very much. <clears throat> 
there's nothing wrong with the toilet roll when the two plies out of sync. Don't blame the unions, don't witter before you think. Don't blame crumbling capitalism or crumbling peers of the realm. Don't get sick when your ships are drift. Grab the helm and pass one ply round behind. See your problems all unwind. There was never a fault in the role you'll find if you just pass one ply round behind. Pass one ply round the roll. There was never a fault at all. See a whole new future unfold if you just pass one ply round the roll. Nothing wrong with your toilet roll when the two sheets don't match up. Don't call the witch doctor, just let your brain catch up. Don't call Patty Caldwell, don't send in Roger Cook. You can be a saviour if you trust the sense, not luck. And pass one boy round behind, see your problems all unwind. There was never a fault in the roll you'll find if you just pass one ply round behind. Pass one ply. Nothing wrong with the toilet roll when the two plies out of sync. Don't blame the recruiter, just let your brain catch up. That's the wrong verse. Don't blame crumbling capitalism or crumbling peers of the realm. Don't get sick when your ships are drift. Grab the helm and pass one ply round behind. See your problems all unwind. There was never a fault in the roll you'll find if you just pass one ply round behind. Pass one ply round. See a whole new future unfold if you just pass one point round the road. Brilliant. I'll do some more Sussexy things. This uh, this appears on my second solo album called The Brighton Line. Uh, which is the uh, one of the ones on my Bandcamp page, Bandcamp Friday, hurrah! And it's uh, the Brighton line uh, was, well, it's the train line that runs from Brighton to London and back, but that's, it was a good name, I thought. Um, but it's a whole album of traditional songs collected in Sussex, that's kind of what it was aimed as, and that's what most of the songs I do are from there. So this is one, this is a Sussex version of The Poor Weaver's Daughter. And uh, I think most people think of it as a Yorkshire song, but I, I got this from a Sussex singer called, oh, I, pra I, pra I practiced remembering all the names earlier. So, uh, Pop Maynard, George Maynard, his uh, nickname was Pop Maynard. He, uh, he was an international marbles champion. He, uh, he led, he was the captain of a team called the Copthorne Spitfires. And he was from the village of Copthorne, in uh, on the Sussex Surrey border. Yeah. The next village over is Tinsley Green, and that's where the Tinsley Green International Marbles Championships are still held to this day, or yeah. to this day when there's no COVID around. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and, and they won a few tournaments back in the 1950s, I think. Yeah. They even beat an American team called the Grosvenor Gobs. But he, he played in the, the Copthorne Spitfires and the Swede Bashers. I'm not sure whether that's about vegetables or people from Sweden, but <laughs> you can decide that for yourself. Uh, but anyway, Pop Maynard had this version of The Poor Weaver's Daughter. <laughs> As I walked out one May morning, one May.
May morning quite early A lovely lass came tripping by As light as any fairy A lovely lass came tripping by as light as any fairy I said fair maid if you'll be mine And by the hand I caught her I'll make you a rich lady gay Kind sir she said I thank you I'll make you a rich lady gay Kind sir, she said, I thank you My poor old mother is dead and gone This lesson she has taught me To marry for love, but not for Cry the poor old weaver's daughter To marry for love, but not for gold Cry the poor old weaver's My poor old father is nearly blind And quite well past his labour T'would break his heart for me to part Cry the poor old weaver's daughter T'would break his heart for me to part, cried the poor old weaver's daughter. And to part from me, that will never be. He's a kind and tender father, till in his peaceful grave he lies. Cried the poor old weaver's daughter Till in his peaceful grave he lies Cried the poor old weaver's Uh, one more, Dave, is that right? Yeah, good. Yes, please. That's good, that's good. That's the right answer. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much for having me. It's been lovely to perform to people again. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't happen very often at the moment. And uh, yeah, I haven't had a solo gig for a couple of years now. So I, it tends to get lost amid... Katie Bands, Dovetail Trio, other brewing projects. Although uh, the Dovetail Trio is no more, I don't know if anyone heard. Um, as of last September, we're no longer a performing trio. We've, uh, not, we're not, we haven't fallen out, we're just uh, not performing anymore together. For family reasons uh, on one of the band members' parts. But, um, 
I'll be around <laughs> in my home. So I'll just uh, finish off with this one. Oh, tip jar! I keep forgetting about the tip jar. And uh, yeah, mattquinn.bandcamp.com for the CDs and uh, the Isolation Quinn EP, which is um, which I'm very proud of. That's where Toilet Rolls from. I'll just finish with this then. This is uh, a version of the Golden Vanity from the scene of a fisherman from Rye and Brighton, in fact, in both Rye and Brighton at different times, a scene called Johnny Doughty. It was a great sort of salty, salt of the earth kind of fisherman. And his entire repertoire was sort of seafaring and fishing songs. And uh, yeah, so he, this was his version of the Golden Vanity, the great rip-roaring chorus, I think. So, thank you very much. A fair ship is mine, called the Golden Vanity. And she sails just now by the North Country For I fear that she be taken by a Spanish Galilee As we sail by the lowlands low By the lowlands low As we sail Little cabin boy, if I venture to that Spanish ship, that ship that doth annoy, I will wreck the Galilee. You may peace of mind enjoy as we sail by the lowlands low, by the lowlands low, as we sail. That Spanish ship you nobly sink and ease me of my care as we sail by the lowlands low by the lowlands low as we sail. Sail by the lowlands low, 
Was there ever half a tale so sad As this one of the sea As we sail by the lowlands low By the lowlands low As we sail by the lowlands low As we sail by the As we sail by the lowlands Thank you very much, Max. Thank you very much. Keep clapping. My hands hurt. Not like I've got anywhere to go. I know we said only one more, Max. <laughs> Normally, my joke is I couldn't get out that way, but. That's, uh, I'm already home. So, so. Yeah. Oh, one more was that? Oh, yes, sure. Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> right. I don't normally do this one as an encore anymore because I seem to, as you've noticed from my sets tonight, I don't play Melodian in my sets uh, anymore, as it turns out. And so I don't get to bring this Melodian with me. <clears throat> but as it's at home with me, I've got it with me and I can do this song. You'll be pleased to hear. You haven't heard what it is yet. So... As you can tell from my uh, study music room, I'm a fan of films. Uh, ridiculously huge fan of films, I think people will say. And this is a song from a film. None of this folk music rubbish. We, we, we've had enough of folk music all evening. We'll do, I'll do this one. This is a song from a well-known uh, Disney film called The Little Mermaid uh, from 1988. And this is the song that won the Oscar for Best Original Song in the Year of My Birth, 1989, and uh, it's, it's a genius song. So, oh, just give me breath back after singing a slow song. Oh dear. Uh, yes, thank you again. Thank you very much. I've I've enjoyed myself. I've enjoyed hearing everyone who sang tonight as well. It's been a terrific evening. So, thank you, and I hope uh, hope I can come to your club actual when uh, whenever things start to lighten up a bit in, in the world anyway this is an irrepressibly happy song to finish us off finish me off for, before i go to bed it's way past my bedtime you know now uh, anyway this is a, this is the famous song from the little mermaid <laughs> Seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things surround you. What more are you looking for? Under the sea, under the sea. Darling, it's better down when it's wetter. Take it from me. Up on the shore they work all day Under the sun they slave away While we're devoting full time to floating under the sea Down here all the fish are happy As off through the waves they roll But the fish on the land aren't happy They're sad cause they're in the bowl The fish in the bowl aren't lucky They're in for a worse fate Just one day when the boss gets hungry Guess who's gonna be on the plate? Under the sea Under the sea Nobody beats us, fry us and eat us in fricassee We're what the land folks love to cook Under the sea we're off the hook We've got no troubles, life is deep bubbles Under the sea Under the sea Since life is sweet here we've got the beat here naturally 
Give them the sturgeon and the ray They get the urgent star to play We've got the spirit, you've got to hear it Under the sea The newt play the flute, the carp play the harp The place play the bass and they're sounding sharp The bass play the brass, the chub play the tub The fluke is the duke of soul The ray he can play, the lings on the strings The trout rocking out, the blackfish he sings The smelt and the sprat, you know where it's at And oh, the blowfish blow in a rock here under the sea Each little snail here knows how to wail Yeah, that's why it's hotter under the water Yeah, we're in luck here down in the muck here under the sea 